Hello, Yaritza. How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. You? I'm fine. Hello. What did you do today? I was just very only. Mm. Difficult you? day. Only work. Yes. What time do you work, Yaritza? At night. Night I am. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Hasta tal hora. Until? Um, until. Mm -hmm. Until. Seven p.m. Until seven p.m. Yes. It's a long time. A lot. It's a lot of hours. Yes. It's like ten hours. Eight. Nine. Nine hours. Uh -huh. Let the time the launch. Ah, okay. Okay. One hour for lunch, Yarita? Yes, one hour. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's necessary <laughs> to relax and to eat. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Anna. How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. Yeah. And how was your day, Anna? Uh, so hard. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. Anna, did you work today? Excuse me? Did you work today? Yeah, I worked. Oh. I worked today. Okay. And what time do you work, Anna? Um, today, uh, 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Uh, at 7. Okay. Yeah. 12 to 7. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So everybody works a little bit, but 12 p.m. is is nice. It's a little late or no? At 12 Hello? Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. I say 12 p.m. is is nice. Do you sleep? Do you sleep in the yeah. morning? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right, because in the morning uh, at 12 p.m., there's no problem. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. How was your day? Well, was tired. Yeah. Uh huh. What happened today? Well, first, I wake up. I woke up at four four a.m. because I uh, I went to the university university and I. I was helping with my mom in the morning, well, in the afternoon, sorry. In the university? Yeah. Okay. In the university. At what university? In the national. Okay. Do you work yeah, at the yeah. national university? Again? Do you work at the national university? No, I study in the in university national. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. And what do you study? I study 
uh, English too. Hey, that's excellent. Yeah, mm -hmm. I study English. Okay, do you like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Good, excellent. All right, I'm glad we have a lot of people here. We are ready to get started and to continue with our activities, right? Okay, so the first is we are going to review a little bit from yesterday. If you remember, yesterday was about the idea for directions and prepositions, okay? Do, do you guys remember? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yesterday we had a couple of different places, a couple of different words that we use, right? We had a in front of, on the corner. Okay. On. Next on. to. Mm -hmm. Between. Between. Behind. Excellent. We have many different ones, right? We have all of the different parts that we are going for. Okay. So we have, are there any questions about those? Any that you don't remember? No, all of those are okay. Okay, so we can practice one more time. All right, so in that case, if there are no questions, we are going to practice using the map, okay? We are going to go in part three, 3.7, 3.7 in the platform. I'm going to share my screen so that we can see. Okay, here we have the 3.7 from yesterday, okay? And where are they going, okay? So we're going to take a moment, look at the map, and remember a little bit about the directions. Okay. So here, can you see? I make it a little bit bigger. Or let me put it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me take a picture one more time and send to our chat and we're going to practice with our partners. Remember, we, we make the questions with where, okay? Where is, for example, where is uh, the pharmacy? Where is the department store? Where is favorite shoes? This is how we make the questions. Let's try one, okay? As an example, where is favorite shoes? The where favorite is... shoes is next to, sorry, is behind coffee shop. It's behind? Coffee shop. Okay, good, behind the coffee shop. Yes, this is one form. And another favorite shoes? The favorite shows is on Second Avenue. Okay, it's on Second Avenue. Okay, good. And one more form. The favorite shows is is across from the, to the supermarket. Across from the supermarket. No two, no two. Only across from uh, okay. the supermarket. Okay. Okay. Good, that's exactly the idea. So that's what we're going to do with our partners. With our partners, we want to make sure we go, we listen, we, we practice, okay? Then in part two, we're going to listen. Then in part two, we listen, and then we write in the answers. For where Page the 89, exercise six. Okay, so we practice ours in 3.7, we listen and we complete. Any questions? 
Teacher. Yes, Jocelyn. Uh, I have a question about the structure. Uh, when we say you can uh, buy, we always uh, say at a or we can say in, in the. It depends the location. Some places is at and some places in. Mm -hmm. And um, la diferencia? Is for for example, I am me, me. I am at home. At home. I am in, I am in the bedroom. At big, in specific. So for example, ah, okay. where can I buy a basketball? Where can you buy a basketball? Ah, you can buy a basketball at Multiplaza in, a, I don't know, in Jaguar Sport, in Sportline. In, in Sportline. Uh, in Sportline. Thank you, Ana. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's going to say, it's going to say you can buy aspirin in the drugstore. Correct. Uh, is, uh, Correct. But we can say at the drugstore. Drug you can say at a drugstore. Yes, the two are correct. Yes, you can buy the uh, the vitamins or the the aspirin at a drugstore. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so one more time, let's review the instructions. We are going to practice the directions with our partner. We're going to listen to it, the directions, and we're going to answer where are they going, okay? So we have 10 minutes. We are going to have 10 minutes with our partner to complete 3.7, 3.7. It's okay. Yeah, All teacher, right. it's okay. okay. All right, let's go with our partners. Hey, Daniel. 
I'm going to send you to the group. That way you can practice. You problem. Problem in internet. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? 
For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Let's watch that one more time. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Is It Far From Here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So, let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on. Turn right on. On the right. On the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be. Grisha, are you okay? Any questions? Um, me costó un poquito entender, pero, pero sí logré entenderlo después de tres veces. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's why we practice. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, teacher. Uh, yes, Grisha. What's the mean across form? Es enfrente de... No, oh. this is in front of. In, um, in front of. Y across mm -hmm. from? Uh, del otro lado. Ah, pues entonces sí tenía razón ahí. Es del otro lado. Yep. Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try and check. Let's see how we did. So number one, where are they going? The bank. The, the bank. bank. Okay. Number two, where are they going? David Brewster. Marias. Okay. Number three, where are they going? Maria's restaurant. Okay. And number four, where are they going? Ivory shows. Okay. Ivory shows. Excellent. Those are the places where they're going. Okay. Any questions? Not each. No. Okay. Good. So now we're going to have here, we're going to learn how to ask for and how to give directions. How to ask for and give directions. Okay. So first, let me see. Okay. 
¿Cuántos de ustedes son buenos para dar direcciones? Yo soy malo. <risa> Malísimo. De primero, les, de primero. Hasta está un perro, le dije. Malísimo. No conozco mi país. Ay, Yo le digo que no vivo ahí y me meto mm. a mi casa. Ay, Eric. Ay, Eric. Oh. <risa> ok. It's ok, it's ok. La mayoría de latinos somos malos en las direcciones porque lo damos al estilo latino. Eh, a la par de, enfrente de, hey, ¿usted conoce dónde está el super selecto? Sí, ok, no es allí, sino que <ríe> a la par del portón café. That's, but in English, no. Por el árbol de mango. Por el árbol de mango, ajá. Y ya no está el árbol. Sí, pues sí, pero antes ahí estaba. Ahí todo. Uh -huh. So, in English is a little bit different. In English is with streets, with avenues. We are going to watch the video and learn, and learn the vocabulary to give directions. Vayan anotando el vocabulario porque van a necesitar usarlo. Okay, vayan anotando cuál es. Here we go. 3.9. This is 3.9 in the platform. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, 
how do I get to New York Public Library? Or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Okay, so we are going to do three things. Right, the vocabulary we must. First, okay, we are going to practice the conversation with a partner. This is number one, one time tourist, one time woman. Okay, this is conversation one, part one. Then we are going to look at this map and we are going to make these questions. How do I, how can I? And then practice the directions. What are the directions? Here, we can make these questions and those are the directions, okay? Teacher. Yes. Left, left is izquierda, right? Correct. Oh. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then we have, for example, walk up, go up, walk down, go down. So walk up and go up in this direction. Okay. No. Let me stop. Okay. So walk up and go up in that direction. Walk down and go down in this direction, okay? Then we have turn left, okay? Turn left, turn right, okay? Then we have on the right. What is the right and the left? Eric said, what was the right? The right is? Again? Right. What is right? Derecho. 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 And left? Izquierda. Okay. okay. So we have in the WhatsApp group many things to practice. Okay. Okay. One more time. It's okay, the instructions? Yeah, teacher, okay. it's okay. One, practice the conversation. Yes. Two, Use the questions, the question, how do I get to, or how can I get to? And look, look at the map and practice the questions. So in the map, you say, oh, how do I get to the Empire State Building? How do I get to Bryan Park? Okay. Para que se haga más. Yes, Claudia. Yes, uh, Ah, perdón. Yes, Jocelyn. What is the difference to say how do I get and how can I get? The same. No, it's deep, no have different. No, 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 no difference. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, the two for directions. Okay. It's the same structure. The same structure. How do I get to La Gran Villa? How can I get to San Miguel? How do I get to Aguachapan? How can I get? I can use. I can use both. Yes, the same structure. Okay. You can use both. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Aquí tal vez vamos a sentir bien difícil. Porque si somos mal dando direcciones en español, 
créeme, les va a costar aún dándolo en inglés. Así que tengan paciencia con ustedes mismos. Vayan despacio. Para ayudarlos, todos vamos a empezar desde el número uno. Empire State Building. Desde el Empire State Building, en el mapa. Ahí va a ser el punto de salida. Y vamos a ir preguntando, How do I get to New York Public Library? El número dos. How do I get to Bryant Park? Number three. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Para que así vayamos todos empezando desde el mismo lugar para que se nos haga más fácil poco a poco. ¿Ok? Ok. 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 En el vocabulario, ¿hay alguna pregunta? Donde dice, walk up. Go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right or on the left. ¿Hay alguna expresión o frase que no entendieron? Walk, walk, eh, no, go up es subir. Go up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y go down es bajar. Correct. Y walk. Walk up es caminar hacia arriba. Correct. Okay. Any other questions? Teacher, can you give us another example, please? Yes. Let's look at the map and try an example together. Okay. Let's look here. Okay. Jocelyn, ask me a question. Uh, how do I get to um, Brian Park? Okay. Here we begin in number one. So, uh, walk up, walk up or go up Fifth Avenue. Okay. Turn left on 42nd Street. Turn left on 42nd, okay? Walk down 42nd Street. It's on your left. It's on your left. This is Bryan Park. So walk up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 42nd Street. Walk down 42nd Street, okay? And it's on your left. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, okay? Any other questions? No? No, teacher, it's okay. No. Okay. No. All right. Let's practice. Let's try. A little difficult, but we can do it. We practice together. or how can I get this? Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. 
Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So, let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on. Turn right on. On the right. On the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions. Walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary. Turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc.
Unit's 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. 1. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. 2. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. 3. Excuse me. Is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay, were there any questions? It's very difficult, teachers. <laughs> yes, he's so confused. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's little oh, by little. Right. It's little right. by little, little by little. Uh -huh. Como le digo, si no están acostumbrados a dar direcciones, en español Vamos, es mucho más difícil. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Yo sé, yo sé. Que muchos ni saben las la nombres de las calles alrededor de su colonia. No se preocupen. Yo sé que ni les interesa aprendérselo. Yo sé. <laughs> Pero así es como se van a dar las direcciones en otros países. It's okay. No se preocupen. Vamos a continuar. It's little by little. Poco a poco vamos a ir mejorando. Okay. Yes. In the conversation, the tourist says, Excuse me, ma'am, 
este, ¿qué significa? Ah, ok, excelente. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa excuse me? No, este, lo que dice después, ma ma'am. 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 Señor. Correct. Very good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Um, nunca lo había visto. What, Eduardo? What is teacher? What is teacher? Ma'am. Ma it's for the women. And Mom, oh. ¿qué significaba? Woman. Señora. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, señora. Yes. Debe decir Miss. Señorita. Ah. Entonces, Madame. Mom es señora. Correct. Oh. También como Madame teacher. Um, like, like Madame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, let's listen and answer. So now we are going to listen to a conversation and we want to answer the four questions. Where do they do or the information? So listen and answer the four questions. Units 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. 1. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay. One more time or it's okay? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Too. okay. Where can the woman get stamps? At the drugstore. At the drugstore. Okay, at the drugstore. What do they need? They need drinks. drinks. Okay. Where is the gas station? On the, the corner, corner of the street. Okay. How can the woman get to a restroom? Up the street for two blocks and two left, she can use the restaurant. The restaurant. At the restaurant. Okay. No. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. No, 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 it's good, it's good. Yeah, yes. sorry. You see? I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> there. So, number one was at the drugstore. Number two, they need drinks. Number three, on the corner of Main and First. And number four was go up the street. Okay. Very good, very good practice. 
Now we have one more activity here. And this is only about reading. So here we're going to listen and read. Listen and read the conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay. So we have a lot of things about New York City. Million book. Right? First, are there any words you don't know? Any vocabulary? Block. Blocks. Mm -hmm. Blocks, cuadras. Cuadras, blocks. Any other words? The entrance is between. Which word? Entrance or between? No, entrance. Entrance, where you enter. The, for example, for the store, the house, the door, where you enter. What is a standing? Standing. It's like, uh huh. when they say stand up, no in the chair. No sit down is stand up. The opposite. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's okay entrance or no? Como entrada. Correct. It's between, is that en frente? No, this is in between front. Between is in medio. Correct. Uh, between. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the other vocabulary? In the middle es como en medio. Correct. Noisy city. Yaritza, what? Noisy city. Ah, the, the city in New York. Noisy, ruidoso. Noisy, ruidoso. Ah, well, then is edificio, building. Correct. Building. building. Mod, it, in a force, it model, model, como se, tony, como se model, model, model uh -huh. after. So, for example, in New York, St. Patrick's Cathedral, but is the model of the, is the model of Germany, is the copy, a copy from Cologne, Germany.
is okay? El modelo es, es como es como el modelo es como el modelo después de la catedral. Correct. It's okay. Yeah, teacher, it's okay for me, right? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we're going to continue. We're going to read together and practice. And we're going to look at the exam of units one, two, and three. Okay. So tomorrow, we practice the reading. We review the exam. And we check units one, two, and three. Okay. 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 Okay, teacher. Okay. Antes de que se vayan, hay algo para eh, o alguien que no le quedó todo claro hoy. Hay algo que no les quedó claro. Okay. Okay. Pasen buenas noches. Good night. I see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.